Hello everyone, and welcome to BioScholar. Let's talk about mitosis. Mitosis is the type of cell division that results in two daughter cells, where the number of chromosomes remains the same as in the parent cell. It is the typical form of cell growth that produces identical cells. If you get a cut on your finger accidentally, it heals after few days, this is because of mitosis. Mitosis occurs in somatic cells and has four stages, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. So, mitosis starts with prophase. Prophase is the stage where the cell prepares for division. Here is the parent cell. This is the cell membrane. These are the centrioles. This is the nuclear envelope, and this is the chromatin material. Chromatin is a long, thread-like structure, the uncondensed form of chromosomes. During this stage, several important changes take place inside the cell to ensure equal division of chromosomes. First of all, the chromatin material starts to coil and condense into X-shaped structures called chromosomes. The nuclear envelope begins to disappear, the centrioles move apart, and spindle fibers begin to form. All of these events occur in three sub-stages, early prophase, mid-prophase, and late prophase. In early prophase, chromatin starts to condense into visible chromosomes. Centrioles begin to move toward opposite poles of the cell, spindle fibers start forming, and the nucleolus begins to disappear. In mid-prophase, chromosomes become more distinct and thicker. Each chromosome is now clearly visible as two sister chromatids joined at the centromere. The nuclear envelope begins to break down. In late prophase, the nuclear envelope completely dissolves. Spindle fibers attach to the centromeres of chromosomes via structures called kinetochores, and the chromosomes begin moving toward the center of the cell. Now the cell enters the second stage of mitosis, metaphase. This is the stage where everything lines up with precision. In metaphase, the chromosomes, which were formed during prophase, are now completely condensed and clearly visible. They align themselves along the center of the cell, a region called the equatorial plate or metaphase plate. This alignment ensures that each daughter cell will receive an exact copy of chromosomes. The spindle fibers, which were formed in prophase, attach to the centromeres of each chromosome through a structure called the kinetochores. These fibers come from opposite poles of the cell and pull gently from both sides, creating tension and keeping the chromosomes in place at the center. Metaphase is the checkpoint stage. The cell pauses briefly here to ensure all chromosomes are properly attached to the spindle fibers and are perfectly aligned. Any mistake at this stage could result in unequal distribution of genetic material, which the cell cannot afford. So, accuracy is key in metaphase. After the careful alignment in metaphase, the cell now enters the third stage of mitosis, anaphase. This is the stage where separation begins. During anaphase, the centromeres, the point where sister chromatids are joined, split apart. As a result, each sister chromatid is pulled away to opposite poles of the cell. The, the spindle fibers attached to the kinetochores begin to shorten, dragging the chromatids, now called daughter chromosomes, toward each side. This ensures that each new cell will receive an identical set of chromosomes. Anaphase is all about movement. It's a very quick, but crucial stage where the genetic material is equally divided. The cell elongates slightly as the chromosomes move farther apart, getting ready for the final steps of division. After the chromosomes have been pulled to opposite poles during anaphase, the cell enters the final stage of mitosis, telophase. In telophase, everything that was undone during prophase is now rebuilt. The spindle fibers start to disappear. A new nuclear envelope forms around each set of chromosomes at both poles, creating two distinct nuclei within the same cell. The chromosomes begin to uncoil and return to their thread-like form called chromatin, just like they were before mitosis began. The nucleolus also reappears in each nucleus. At this point, the cell has two identical nuclei. Mitosis is now complete. The cell is almost ready to divide into two separate cells. And that happens in the next process called cytokinesis. Cytokinesis is the final step after mitosis. 
It is the division of the cytoplasm to form two separate daughter cells. In animal cells, a cleavage furrow forms and pinches the cell into two. In plant cells, a cell plate forms in the center and develops into a new cell wall. As a result, two genetically identical daughter cells are formed, each with the same number of chromosomes as the parent cell. So, that's it for today's episode on mitosis. To learn more about the cell cycle, click on this video.